So welcome to this video and today you find me in Greece. Um, it's between 30 and 35 degrees here. It's uh, August so it's guaranteed blue sky. It's also a bit windy. In July you find there's not much wind here in Greece but in August there's a pretty strong northerly wind. So I've set myself up this way so hopefully you won't get um, too much wind noise in the sound. Um, a place called Cape Sunio, you may have heard of it because it's where the Temple of Poseidon is. It looks out over the Aegean, beautiful idyllic blue seas. Um, and we're just taking a, a few days down here. We're also down here at the same time that it's going to be the full moon. Um, so the full moon comes up just after the sun goes down over the temple, which will be interesting. I'm going to try and photograph that, so um, that's going to be quite fun one evening. I thought while I was down here I'd just do a quick what's in my bag. I've obviously travelled down um, from the UK, um, so I've got um, a reasonably full bag with me. So I thought it'd be interesting just to share with you what I'm carrying on this kind of trip. It's just under two weeks trip, um, so I've bought um, checked baggage with me. So in my carry-on baggage it's purely camera video gear. So on this trip I bought with me my think tank, I think it's the Traveller Essentials, but it's the Essentials version which is slightly smaller. Um, I chose the Essentials, I've had it now for about seven years. I chose it because it fits neatly underneath the seat in front of you on most aircraft as well as in the overhead bin. You can also put it into a wheelie um, case if you're travelling a bit further and you've got a slightly bigger allowance. Um, so you can take it inside a, a carry-on wheelie case and then when you get the other end take it out and you've got an overnight case as well as your camera bag. Um, it was about 12 kilos when I checked it um, at the airport so it's carrying a fair bit of gear. Um, it's just got camera gear and you know the old book and stuff in it um, for traveling but it's a pretty good bag. It's um, a little bit thinner when you're around town which is um, advantageous and as you can see I've added a thicker belt that comes from Think Tank as well because when you're carrying about 12 kilos it can be fairly um, heavy on your back so a, a waist belt is really important. Um, it's been with me to Japan a couple of times, it's been to Cambodia, Vietnam so it's fairly well used and the straps on it are really well padded and very comfortable um, so it's a bag that I, I go to quite often um, particularly when I'm doing photography, videography. So what have I bought with me? So let's start with this front pocket. I bought with me my um, MacBook Pro 13 inch. I was going to do some video editing on it. However, it's slightly limited. This is the 2018 version, so it's a quad core processor, um, but it does struggle when you're doing 4K video. Um, it's okay with 1080p. Um, actually, the uh, using something like Adobe Premiere is fine but it's when you come to render it it begins to run out of steam a bit so I tend to do a little bit of video editing when I'm on the road but then um, render it when I'm back home as I'll probably do with this video. It's a nice size because it um, rather than the 15 inch which I find slightly heavy and slightly bigger to carry this you can flip out on a plane or a train um, and use it while you're moving. So I've obviously got that. I've bought with it the um, the original Apple mouse with a um, wireless charging base rather than the mouse 2 which they bought out which has wireless charging built in. Um, I did think about bringing my small Wacom tablet to do a bit of video, video and photography, photograph editing um, while I'm on the move but again I was up to my you know, sort of 12 kilos and I wanted to cut back in a couple of areas so I decided a mouse was probably a, um, a compromise on the size and functionality. So before I go into the main body of the bag, let's uh, start with what's outside the bag. I've got my three-legged thing tripod, which is um, supporting my Z6 with my 24-70 f2.8 lens on it. And I'm using the Rode um, Wireless Go mics um, today with a Rode um, lav mic plugged into it to try and deal with the um, wind noise. I actually bought two camera bodies with me this time, I bought my Z6 and my Z7 because I knew I might be doing a little bit of videoing, plus I've been doing some astrophotography while I'm down here and I wanted to see what the Z6 was like in uh, low light photography because, because of the pixel size on the sensor, um, it's meant to be slightly better in low light, so I'll be doing a bit more astrophotography just to test that out as well. So in the bag, um, let's go into the main Main part, of the, main part of the bag. I've got my Z7. Um, I've got the 70 
200 f2.8, the F mount lens with the FTZ adapter attached. I'm going to be using that for the full moon um, photography because I want to get across the bay and really crop in on the temple at some points. And I've got my 1430 um, wide angle Z mount lens just in case I need it. With the um, think tank pouches, you get a, a rain cover which is was stashed at the bottom, gives a little bit of um, cushioning there. And I've also got a bag of various leads. So my road leads, my USB-C to USB-C, and various others. I've also got my um, variable ND um, filter, which I talked about in a previous video and I bought with me because it's just quite useful in this very harsh Mediterranean sun. I'm not using it today because the camera's in the shade and I wanted the background um, in focus as well, so I wanted quite a wide depth of field, so I didn't need to use the ND filter today. I've got my cases for my Rode um, Lav Mic and Rode Wireless Go, and I've got another Think Tank pouch for uh, memory cards, because I've got quite a few memory cards with me. Um, because what I'm doing is shooting to the memory cards, but then also backing up onto um, an external SSD drive with my MacBook Pro, which is another advantage of carrying my MacBook Pro with me rather than just an iPad or an iPhone. Um, so as you can see, my Z6 would go in here with the 2470, the Z7 quite comfortably up here, the 2470, 1430, and I've got one of these little pouches, and these are really useful. You can pick them up on Amazon and, and places, and I got a pack of three different sizes. And inside here, they're great for keeping stuff together. I don't like having lots of things just pushed in because when you get to a destination, quite often you just want to pull out various things and then use the bag to carry one camera and a body around with you. So having everything in, in cases is really useful. This is the smallest of the three cases. I've got, I quite often use the biggest one with me with all of my batteries, all of my leads, all of my chargers in, and it fits neatly in something you can just pull it out. And there's quite a bit of weight in that that you can just pull out when you get somewhere and leave in your room. I'll put a link below if you want to get hold of these, they're really useful. Uh, but in here is my mouse for my, my MacBook. I've got um, a, a keyboard skin with all of the shortcuts for Premiere Pro on there because when I'm traveling I kind of forget which key is which and that's quite useful for showing you which shortcuts are on which key. I've got my Nikon battery charger. I've got both um, a Sony and a Lexar XQD card reader. Um, and I've got my SSD drive in there. So there's quite a bit of um, space, even in this smallest um, case. And then this is my um, USB-C to various adapters so, um, that plugs into the side of the MacBook Pro. So it's got USB-C. Um, HDMI and a couple of USB-A ports for my card readers and so on. So that all fits quite neatly into there. And as you see, it's got a handle on it so you can pull it back out. It fits quite neatly in the side there. So it all fits quite well and that makes it quite a dense pack. You know, as I say, it's 12 kilos. So what have I got in the pockets here? This is where actually I have got a lot of individual things in here. Um, even though saying I don't like it. I've got a um, waterproof case for my iPhone. Um, found this useful when I was in Iceland when we were going to some thermal pools. You can open it up, slip your um, iPhone in here, you put the top back together, flip the things down, it's totally waterproof and you can video underwater. Um, really useful on the beaches here with the wind. Um, and it's, you know, it's pretty light, doesn't uh, weigh anything. I've got a Nikon school um, lens cloth. These are quite useful. A little fan. Picked up I think in Japan. Always useful to carry with you when it's uh, 35 degrees. Um, give yourself a bit of cooling breeze. I've got four spare batteries. A mixture of um, ENL, EL15A and ENEL15B batteries. Um, in this one I've got um, an iPhone adapter or a, a smartphone adapter for your tripod. I've got a three-legged thing tool which is quite useful when you're using a tripod. Got some all important for mirrorless cameras, um, lens cleaning swabs. 
especially when it's dusty, dry and windy like it is here. A couple of pens um, and a little notebook in there. So as you can see, this um, Think Tank Essentials backpack really is a bit of a TARDIS of a bag. Um, as I say, when you, when you fully load it, it gets up to about 12 kilos. So I hope you've uh, found this video useful. It's not a, an extensive 20 minute going through every single thing in my bag, but it gives you an idea of what I'm traveling with on a trip like this um, and how you can fit it into a very compact carry-on size bag. Hope you found this video um, interesting. If you did, hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification button, you'll be um, notified of future videos. And let me know what um, bag you're using when you're traveling. You know, one, I like this Think Tank bag. It's great if you're just carrying um, cameras and gear, but quite often I want to carry non-camera gear in perhaps a separate compartment. And I'm you know, really searching for that backpack that can be hybrid, that can be used for um, camera photography gear, but also for non-photography gear. So let me know what you're using in the comments below. Be interesting to hear, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.